For all your t-shirt needs, check out Tee Public's Killer Selection. Follow the link in the description. Hey, what's up, people? Piz Zow here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the new Scream Factory Collector's Edition Blu-ray release for 1992's Candyman. Now, this is partially going to be a review of the movie as well as a review of this Blu-ray release. I don't really want to go into too many specifics regarding the plot of Candyman. I'm sure most of you guys out there have already seen the movie. And I don't want to make this video 30 minutes in length because there are a lot of extras on this release that we need to delve into. But I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the film at least briefly because I've never done a full review of Candyman on this channel. Now, I've spoken about how sad it was on this channel many times um, why Candyman did not have a good quality Blu-ray release, at least in the U.S. And all I can say is that it's a great time to be a Candyman fan because for those of us in the U.S. and Canada, we've got this release from Scream Factory. And those of you guys across the pond in the Region B territory, you've got what appears to be a really nice Blu-ray release for Candyman from Arrow Video. And they're both long, long overdue because Candyman is a great horror movie. Uh, the film revolves around a graduate student played by Virginia Madsen who's writing a research paper on urban legends. She learns of the Candyman urban legend in which if you stand in front of a mirror and say Candyman's name five times and then turn off the light, Candyman will appear behind you much as he has appeared behind me right there and with his hook for a hand eviscerate you. And she discovers during her course of writing and researching um, the Candyman urban legend that it's not so much an urban legend and that Candyman is very much real. And Candyman, the movie and the antagonist, um, they're oftentimes lumped in with not on Elm Street, Halloween, Friday the 13th and their antagonist, Jason, Michael, Freddy, etc., but I've never really seen uh, Candyman as a slasher movie, and I've never really seen Candyman <laughs> as a slasher. Um, with Candyman, you don't really, he doesn't seek you out and stalk you. You must seek him out, kind of the same way you must seek out the Cenobites in Hellraiser, talking about another Clive Barker story. Um, and also, at the heart of Candyman, kind of, <laughs> similar to Hellraiser at the heart of Candyman, um, there is a really tragic love story. And when you talk about this movie, always the first thing that you have to mention is the performance of Tony Todd as Candyman, because he plays the character with such gravitas. He plays it. it it's almost operatic uh, in nature. Um, he imbues the character with so much, uh, style and class. Um, he is the most debonair of the big screen baddies. I would put him right up there alongside uh, Dracula, Phantom of the Opera, uh, etc. Tony Todd's performance in Candyman is definitely one for the books. A phenomenal performance. All the other performances in the film are fantastic as well. Virginia Madsen is great in this film. Xander Berkeley, uh, Cassie Lemons. Um, the movie also looks absolutely fantastic too uh it was directed by bernard rose he also wrote the the adaptation of the clive barker story the forbidden the cinematography uh, is fantastic in this movie the music oh my god the score for this film uh as done by philip glass is just creepy and beautiful and when you watch Candyman. You can't not think of social issues like race and class struggle and and crime. So the movie does a lot more than just be a horror movie. But as a horror movie, <laughs> Candyman is also freaking awesome. You've got some great kills in the movie. You've got eviscerations and, and, and people being just ripped to pieces by Candyman's rusty hook and um all those elements are handled incredibly well also um I, I I just can't say enough about this movie this is a great great horror movie that 
is long, long overdue for this kind of Blu-ray release. If you've not seen Candyman, by all means, go out and watch Candyman. This Blu-ray from, from Scream Factory would be a great way to introduce yourself to the film. If you are a fan of Candyman, definitely want to look into picking up this Blu-ray and adding it to your collection. Let's check out the uh, the presentation here. As with all of Scream Factory's Collector's Edition releases, we get a nice slipcase here with some newly commissioned artwork. I actually got the um, the Deluxe Limited Edition, which came with this um, uh, extra slipcase that I could use to dress up the Blu-ray. I actually did an unboxing of the Deluxe Limited Edition that also came with a poster. Uh, so I'll post that link in the description. Go check that out as well. But really nice new artwork um, for the film. We get the director's cut and the unrated cut of the film inside. There is the um, uh, the unrated cut of the film. I've got the director's cut, or I'm sorry, the theatrical cut of the film uh, in my Blu-ray player. The sleeve is reversible, and there we have the original artwork for Candyman. Uh, as far as picture quality and sound quality are concerned, um, the uh, we get a new 2K restoration from a new 4K scan of the original negative supervised and approved by writer-director Bernard Rose and director of photography Anthony B. Richmond. The movie looked fantastic. I thought the movie looked great. I would give it a four, four and a half out of five as far as picture quality is concerned. Same thing with sound quality. The movie sounded fantastic as well. I'd give it a four, four and a half out of five as far as the sound quality is concerned. Uh, as far as extras are concerned, I'm going to start with the extras on disc two of this release, which sports the director's cut of the film because the bulk of the new extras are on this disc. Uh, first up, we get Be My Victim. It's nine minutes and 47 seconds in length. It is a new interview with Tony Todd. Mr. Todd discusses how propaganda films wanted an Eddie Murphy type to play Candyman initially, but Bernard Rose fought for him to play Candyman in the film. He discusses how Bernard Rose... Uh, and he approached the character of Candyman with Lon Chaney in mind. Uh, he discusses the Candyman um, wardrobe that he wore in the film. He discusses how the bees in the film had their own trailer. And he talks about working with the bees and how over the course of three films playing Candyman, he's only been stung 26 times. Very nice interview with Mr. Todd. Next up, we get It Was Always You, Helen. It's 13 minutes and 11 seconds in length. It is a new interview with Virginia Madsen. Uh, Ms. Madsen discusses how she got the role in Candyman and that part of her preparation for the film was to uh, get tested to see if she was allergic to bees, which she was, and uh, how Bernard Rose wanted her to put on a few extra pounds, so she ate a lot of pizza. So her preparation for the film was to get tested to see if she was allergic to bees, which she was, and to just eat a lot of pizza. Um, she discusses working with Bernard Rose and how he constantly wanted more blood. Uh, she discusses actually being um, hypnotized uh, to play the scenes in which she's under Candyman's hypnotic thrall, which was interesting. Uh, Miss Madsen discusses working with Tony Todd and how romantic their character's relationship is in the film. She discusses working with the bees, the film's finale being set on fire and the burn makeup and more. Very nice interview with Ms. Madsen. Next up, we have the writing on the wall, the production design of Candyman at six minutes and 22 seconds in length. It's a new interview with Jane and Stewart. She discusses working with Bernard Rose and visiting the Cabrini Green projects, developing the candy. Man Lair and how she wanted it to look like the inside of a church, albeit a rotted out graffiti tagged church. She discusses the creation of the the junk mound at the end of the film and more. Uh, very nice interview with Miss Stewart. Next up, we have Forbidden Flesh, the makeup effects of Candyman. It's eight minutes and two seconds in length. It's a new interview with Bob Keen, Mark Collier and Gary J. Tuncliffe. Uh, Keen discusses making different poops. Uh, for the bathroom sequence in the film, they discuss having the hook custom made by a blacksmith, <clears throat> excuse me, but the blacksmith refused to give the hook to them after they told him it was for a horror film and proceeded to call them all the spawn of Satan. So they had to go and 
make their own hook after that. <laughs> uh, they discuss designing Candyman's chest. Uh, Coulier discusses creating a dental appliance to put uh, the live bees inside Tony Todd's mouth and more. Very nice interview with those three guys. Uh, next up, we have a story to tell. Clive Barker's The Forbidden. It's 18 minutes and 39 seconds in length. It is with critic and author Douglas E. Winter. Mr. Winter discusses first reading Clive Barker's work and then meeting uh, Mr. Barker. He discusses Barker's short story, The Forbidden, on which Candyman is based and how it is a horror story about the allure of horror stories. He discusses how Candyman captures the central themes of Barker's short story. He discusses how Bernard Rose and Clive Barker met and eventually optioned the rights to the Forbidden. He discusses um, how Rose wanted to follow up Candyman by doing the Midnight Meat Train, but with Jack the Ripper that took place both in present time and during the 1880s. But of course, that never happened. Very nice uh, discussion with Mr. Winter. Next up, we have Urban Legend Unwrapping Candyman. It's 20 minutes and 41 seconds in length. It is with lecturer and author Tananarin, uh, do and author and screenwriter Stephen Barks, uh, in which they discuss their love of Candyman and explore the themes of race, crime, poverty, and fear in the film. They discuss how Candyman is sort of an anti-hero for black horror fans. They discuss how differently Candyman would have been if it were made today, which is an interesting thought. Uh, there are some moments uh, during their discussion in which they are critical of the film for its portrayal of people of color, uh, yet then they say that it was that the film was very much ahead of its time. So it's it, it's a bit of a critical analysis uh, of the film from the point of view of two horror fans of color. Very nice, very interesting discussion uh, there. Uh, next up, we have Reflections in the Mirror with Cassie Lemons. It's a brand new interview with Cassie Lemons. It's nine minutes and 48 seconds in length. Ms. Lemons discusses getting cast in Candyman and becoming fast friends with Virginia Madsen. She discusses working with Bernard Rose and how intense he was as a director. She discusses shooting on location at Cabrini Green. Uh, she discusses her death scene and how proud she is of Candyman. Very nice interview with Miss Lemons. Next up, we have A Kid in Candyman with Dewan Guy. It's 13 minutes and 36 seconds in length. Uh, Mr. Guy discusses how he got cast in Candyman. He discusses working with Virginia Madsen and how she was nice to him uh, on the set of the film. He discusses how the movie scared him so bad after he saw it the first time that he slept with his aunt for three months. Afterwards, uh, he discusses getting autograph requests from a Candyman fan in prison, which is um, interesting. By the way, Dwight Guy was the little kid in Candyman. So that's <laughs> pretty interesting. On disc one, we get the theatrical cut of Candyman. We also get a lot of the uh, old extras from the prior DVD releases of the film ported over, such as Sweet to the Sweet, The Candyman Mythos, Clive Barker Raising Hell, The Heart of Candyman. We get Bernard Rose's storyboards. We get a theatrical trailer. We get TV spots. We get a still gallery and we get the original script. We also get four commentaries on this release. We get two new commentaries, one with Bernard Rose and Tony Todd, the other with Stephen Jones and Kim Newman. Newman, I'm sorry. And we get two old commentaries ported over from the prior releases, uh, including Bernard Rose, Clive Barker, Alan Paul, Tony Todd, Virginia Madsen, and Cassie Lemons. And the other commentary is with Bernard Rose, moderated by Adam Green and Joe Lynch. Now, I listened to the new commentary with Bernard Rose and Tony Todd. I listened to the entire thing. It was awesome. It was a great, great commentary. It wasn't so much a scene-specific commentary as it felt like it was just two old friends talking about horror movies. Uh, Tony Todd talks about growing up near a housing project and actually being jumped by a gang as a kid. Uh, they discuss shooting on location at the Cabrini Green Projects. Uh, Rose discusses the sequel he wrote to Candyman that was also an adaptation of The Midnight Meat Train, another Clive Barker story. Uh, Rose discusses meeting Clive Barker and telling him how he wanted to adapt The Forbidden uh, and Barker giving him his blessing. Um, Rose also discusses writing the screenplay. They discuss the score by Philip Glass and how Glass felt duped by Bernard Rose because Glass was convinced that Candyman was going to be a psychological thriller and he ended up hating the movie because he felt that it was too bloody and gory. Uh, Tony Todd discusses how much people in the South love horror and meeting a family at a convention in Kentucky who told him they watched horror movies every day and how disturbing he thought that was. I instantly wondered, <laughs> I thought to myself, 
I wonder if that happened at the same convention that I saw Tony Todd at <laughs> um, in Kentucky. But this was a great, great, highly entertaining, really fun commentary with Tony Todd and Bernard Rose. This is an excellent release for Candyman from Scream Factory. Got lots of new extras. You've got all the extras from the previous releases ported over. You've got great commentary tracks. The presentation is fantastic. The picture quality and the sound quality are both fantastic. If you've not seen Candyman, I cannot recommend it higher. This Blu-ray would be a great way to introduce yourself to the film. If you are a fan of Candyman and you live in the U.S. or Canada, Rejoice, because we finally have a great Blu-ray for the film here from Scream Factory. You guys definitely want to go out and look into picking up this Blu-ray from Scream Factory if you are a fan of Candyman. If you picked up this release from Scream Factory, please let me know your thoughts on it down in the comment section below. So let me know your thoughts on Candyman in general down in the comments section below below if you like this video please leave it a thumbs up if you're not following me on social media those links are in the description they're also right around here as always thanks so much for watching i really appreciate it take care and until next time peace i hear you're looking for candy man join the a buck a month club and help support my channel on patreon thank you to my current patrons kevin smythe orc 145626 b movie mike robert sobel turi delamore stephen flanagan Lori holt mitch odell farron sutton craig farrand jeremiah lambert grindhouse grotto joseph charlesworth chris earls Derek janna demon waffles tim williams stone gasman zachary barton mr bibby 86 james welch eli geisler jeff overing cliff hostetter Cal McGuire, Jay the Stingray, Lauren Dixon, and Travis Davis. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.